Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview on how you pair your iPad with the Garmin Oregon 700 or 750 GPS device using something called the Garmin Connect app. If you do pair your GPS device with the Garmin Connect app, it allows you to sync data from your GPS device of walks cycle rides that you've been on when you finish those walks and cycle rides you can then use that app to share with others also on the Garmin Connect app it gives us a nice function to use an app made by a company called Wikilock for sending GPS routes and tracks to your GPS which we're going to show in a later video how you use the Wikilock app on an iPad so the first thing you need to do is went to the app store and download an app called Garmin Connect. So on the actual iPad we're using here, I've got the logo for Garmin Connect here. If I just touch on there, I'll turn this around. It'll show you the Garmin Connect app. So I'm just coming out of the screen it's on at the moment. And this is the Garmin Connect app. So that is what you need to download first from the app store, the Garmin Connect app. So once you've got the Garmin Connect app on your iPad, you're ready to pair the GPS device. So the first thing you need to do on your actual iPad is go to your settings and make sure you've got Bluetooth turned on. And I would also have it paired with your Wi-Fi as well. So I've just went into the settings and I'm just going to touch on Bluetooth and I'll turn the Bluetooth on. What you actually need to do on your GPS device, so I've got the Oregon 700 here that I'm using today. I'm just going to go into the settings, so whatever home page you're on, whether it be hike, cycle, etc. Touching on the three white bars in the bottom left takes us straight into settings and I'm going to look at the Bluetooth setting. When you first get the GPS device and you've not paired it before, it should say on the screen, ready to pair, and it's reminding you that you need to install Garmin Connect on the device that you're going to pair the GPS device with. You can only pair with one device at a time, so if you did have it paired with an iPhone or an Android phone, you'd have to disconnect that pairing before you pair with your iPad. So you now leave the GPS on the screen that says ready to pair from that settings and Bluetooth screen. And now on the actual iPad, I've went into settings and I'm just going to swipe to turn Bluetooth on where we got Bluetooth at the top there. And what will happen is on the iPad, it'll start to detect anything that I've just got within range with Bluetooth turned on. I can see here it's got Oregon 700 listed with a little hash symbol and a series of numbers. What you've actually got to do is select that first and then we'll see what happens after that because you do actually have to connect twice to two different Mac codes on the unit. So it's now told me there's a Bluetooth requiring pairing request and I've got to select pair on the iPad and there's a pass key that was on the screen of the GPS that's now disappeared and it tells me that I'm done. So I can touch on done now and we can now see that it says connected on the iPad. So it now says connected. So if I now close this down and now go to the Garmin Connect app, so I'll just swipe across so we get the Garmin Connect and we'll turn this around and on the Garmin Connect app what we've got, I'm just going to scroll down We've got an option at the bottom that says more, so you touch on more and then you're looking for the option that says devices. So I can see Garmin devices, so if I touch on Garmin devices. We did have two Oregon 700s paired to this before our two demo units, that's why I've got two Oregon 700s shown. But I can see the one that says connected, it's got connected under the wording Oregon 700 and I can touch on sync now. And when I select sync now that will sync any data with the Oregon 700 that I've got paired. So that's how we pair the Oregon 700 or 750 GPS device with an iPad. Obviously when you're not using the Bluetooth and you don't want your GPS device connected, it's to remember from the settings and Bluetooth screen where it says status connected, you can turn off the Bluetooth from that screen. So again, just a reminder, I've just hit the little back arrow to come out there. From any of the home pages on the Oregon 700 series, touch the three white bars and you're going into the option that says Bluetooth and that's where we can turn on or off the Bluetooth. You can also, if you were getting email notifications through on your iPad and you didn't want them pairing with the Oregon, you get the option here to hide notifications like an email message. Please watch our videos on our online training course that if you've bought a GPS device from us, you get for free. Otherwise, it's £25 for one year's access. Loads of videos on there on using the GPS device and Garmin's Basecamp software. We have some more in-depth training videos on pairing your Oregon 700-750 with an iPhone 
or an Android phone where we go into a little bit more detail. But I hope you found this video useful and we're going to do another video shortly on using the Wikiloc app that allows us to send GPS routes and tracks to the Oregon 700 from the iPad. And thanks for watching this video.